party today isn't it yeah, ma'am. it's the end of the season already it feels like the summer's gone so quick um, i fell in love with dance music when i was about 15 but i was really into hard dance yeah i used to go to the channel club and strawberry sundays with my older sister and our mates yeah i used to get i used to get glow sticks and li- doing all that making shapes. listen to judge stools on a saturday night yeah yeah it was all good back then and then i and then i then i liked garage for a while I turned into a massive garage head in like 96, 97. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And then loved and, and then loved R&B for a little while. Then went into dance music in about 99, 2000. How are we going to get through a whole interview without talking about Big Brother? Oh, we're not, please don't talk about that. We're not going there? No, let's skip that. Let's talk about something else. You've been else. into dance music way before that. Yep. But how did you get into the DJing? Um, well, I learned to DJ when I was younger, but not... I didn't learn to play out. I just, I just used to go to my mate's house and use his vinyl and yeah. literally just use his decks. And he'd be like, oh, you're not coming around to see me then. I'd be like, no, I'll come around to use decks. Yeah. But I never, ever learned to play out or anything. And then music was obviously the one thing that I really missed when I was in Big Brother. And so yeah. I didn't miss my family or friends. That sounds really hard, but I knew I was going to see them at the end. And I really miss music. I absolutely love music. It's something I can't ever... I love every kind of music. It's not just dance music. I'm just music, music mad. And then afterwards, um, there was a little while when I was really busy with TV stuff and radio stuff, and then I had some time off, and I was like, I'm going to buy some decks, and CDJs were out, and I was like, yeah. I'll buy some CDJs. Bought a couple of CDJ 1000 Mark IIs, love them, and I've never looked back. And then just, I didn't know I was going to DJ. I just bought them and thought, yeah, I'll learn. Yeah. And then I just got a few gigs, and then I got a few gigs on top of that. And now this year I'm in Ibiza, which is dream come true. Was it fun for you learning? Was yeah. it easy for you? Yeah, I was it because I saw I you there and you got your little DJ dance and you know how to work the effects and you know how to work the CDJs I got up there, so I, you know what you're doing, right? Was it easy for you to learn? Well, I had my friend come round Rupert and uh, it was actually Grant Nelson who told me to buy a CDJ. What? Really? He's yeah, a he's good a, guy as well. I love Grant Nelson. He's I love the fact that in his rider he's got a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> every time? Yeah, hey. That comes up in every interview. Always DJ with a bag in his mouth. And Jack Daniels. Love it. I love him. And I went, I phoned up my Grant because I, I, I was friends with him through a friend. And I went, what do I buy? Do I buy Technics or do I buy some CD decks? And he went, CD decks. And with CD decks, someone's telling me to get some Denons. And he went, write this down. I went, what? And he went, CDJ. I was like, CD, never clue. MK, I was like, two, yeah, yeah. I didn't have a clue what they were. I bought them and I was like, what the fuck? Someone taught me how to use them. And then that was it. You just practice, didn't you? Because you've got to, you've just got to learn to beat match. That's it. And I have to say, they are pretty, pretty more simple than, than doing on vinyl. I mean, it's not, it doesn't, it's not, they are, the thing is, everyone says, oh, they're really, really easy, but then I was trying to teach my friend to DJ, and she just can't do it. You can either do it, you either pick it up or you don't. I picked it up really quickly, and within six months, I was like, all right, making mix CDs, giving them out to my friends, doing a few gigs. And, like, I picked it up, whereas my friend was I'm trying to teach her, and she just can't, she can't do it. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I love it. I love DJing. It's really good, and I'm really glad to be here. This is your first summer in Ibiza. You played here actually last year. I played it last year. One gig. That was for Filthy Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. First gig in Ibiza. Privilege. I was like, <laughs> not too scary, but it was in a small room and it was, yeah. it, it was, I had an hour and it was really good. And I heard that it went off as well. It I was good. You dropped it. That well, was the and, worst. And it was all right. Yeah. I was so nervous about it. I mean, I was really nervous about tonight. Yeah. So like when I turned up tonight, I went, what's that have you got? I always have to ask before I go, what's that have you got, mate? And he went, got a Mark II, a couple of Mark Threes. DJM, I was thinking he was going to say 800 or 600. DJM 1000, I was like, yes, dude! Love the 1000, it's my favourite mix from the world, Jump the Star. So, what are you going to do now? Are you going to, I mean, you've mastered the decks, right? 
Are you going to get into production? Are you going to start your own record label? Because that seems to be what everyone's doing. Gee whiz, I don't know about that. Yeah, moving on to all that. I'm, I've, I made a tr- tune already. I made it. I played it tonight. I don't know if you heard it. It was a remix of Gold Tricks featuring Andrew Brown tripping. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and I missed that. Sorry. You missed it. But I bet that's good. It's all that's right. The trophy tunes played it on the radio show. On the yeah. radio one, and I was really excited. So you're already in there again. And and, and Nick and s- someone phoned me, and it was it's been playing at Bora Bora. We went to Bora the other day, and we heard it, yeah. and I nearly cried. Oh my god. And it played it. it someone played it. I think it was Nick Richards' Body Rocks. Played it at Cream at Amnesia. Yeah. And when he phoned me and told me he played my tune, I was really in tears. I was really sick. I was like, pardon, at Amnesia. Does it feel like it's happened really quickly? Yes, very. Yeah. Weird, weirdly quickly, yeah. but it's all good. And someone said to me today, how long have you been doing? I was like, nearly two years. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like two years, but it happens to happen quicker. I'm just going to start a radio show as well, and that would be like Monday to Friday. Where's that um, going to be? Um, for Kerrang FM. And oh, it's, wow. it's the breakfast show with Tim Shaw. Cool. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, How are you going to manage that, the party lifestyle and getting up no, for There's going to be no more party lifestyle. It all ends after this holiday. No, this is my no. last two weeks of freedom. So we are going crazy. Oh, yeah, we're mad. We're going crazy for the next two weeks. And then that's it. All the partying stops because I'll be doing Monday to Friday on the radio. And then Friday, Saturdays, I'll be DJing. So and what time it's time to grow up and start saving money.